Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see another demo on the interface and how can we use that. So if you haven't watched my previous three video on this topic, make sure you check them. I'll put the link in the description or in the card. Okay, so here is the scenario. We have a data as an array in an Excel range like this. And I want to shape this data. Okay, I don't know where and how, but I want to shape this data and how and where it will depend on the implementation okay so now i want to save this data maybe let's say in a json file or maybe in a tab delimited text file or let's suppose in a csv file or let's suppose in a database server or maybe in a html file okay so you can see that there could be thousands of different format that we can use to set this data and we don't want to implement all of those weird cases or maybe exporter cases like let's suppose i want to have a custom exporter method or business logic that i want to use to set those data okay so here is the basic code I get the data from the range and this is on my array and I want to use this function that export data this text array data that is basically this data and exporter as a I exporter you can see that I don't have any I exporter so I have just used that I export so let me just create that I exporter interface okay so basically we could have two method here okay but I'm going to use one okay so that is export okay this will take data and then it will do nothing so so will give it option so export okay and we don't have anything else so we have this export maybe you could create another sub that is pre-process okay that will check you know take this array data as an input and it will process the data and then it will do the saving but for the simplicity i'm just getting rid of this i'm going to get rid of that and then i'm going to use this okay so export now let's suppose i want to implement a json version or json exporter class module so i could create a class module that json exporter what you need to do i just need to say okay implements I exporter and let me show you the client code so basically that will be exporter dot export and array data actually nothing else okay for this one now because I don't have any pre-processing or I don't have any other stuff in this section that's why this is so simple but I could have hundred of pre-processing post-processing I, I could have some logging related stuff on this and this will be super big okay so this is basically a shop instead of a function okay now if i go into this i'm just going to implement that okay shop and i'm not going to do anything here i'm not going to show you a real implementation you can create a, your real implementation as you want so i'm just going to print a message so that's it so save to a json file okay so if it is a file exporter i could have one more parameter that is uh, two folder sorry two more parameter i could have like this and then in that case this will be like you know i need to use this again let me get rid of this this will be like this right so i'm just going to print a message saved to a json file now you understand that this implementation will be super big right because we have to convert this array data as a json array right so for that i have to create channel title key channel title in short i can just say okay formatted channel title so channel title and formatted channel title that will be key and these are the value so I have to create a JSON array and then I need to find this folder, I need to create a file and then I need to dump those JSON data into that particular file. So you understand that this will be a little bit big procedure so that's why I'm just skipping that. And I'm just printing the message. We could have one more implementation that that is for 
let's suppose HTML HTML exporter now you can see that for this one the you just copy this and save to a HTML file okay so you can see that for the HTML we have to create a table like you know with the tag like you know HTML and then table and so on right so we have to do the pre-processing stuff and then we need to create a file and then we need to save that pre-processed data into that particular HTML file now you can see that we can have hundreds of different implementation and it's impossible to create all those implementation beforehand right so maybe in the future user wants to use a you know markdown file and they want to export this data as a markdown and they have some custom logic or you know they have some business logic to how to format this in a markdown so you can just create another class and implement this i exporter and rest of the client code will be happy to use that okay so let me just show you this one i already show you in my last video let me just show you this one that if it's printing the message or not so json exporter to folder file name and then to folder no, so file name actually okay now i need to pass that so this workbook I'm just going to use this file path and file name let's say sample okay and if I just use that then you can see save to a JSON file right so we are not doing those implementation real implementation but you can use the you know create some real implementation but if I just change this to HTML exporter and run this then you can see save to a HTML file so it's using that implementation now you can have hundreds of different real implementation you can save that as a markdown file you can save that as a csv file you can save that as a log file you can save that as 100 different option okay and under different file type you can save that as a excel file or you can save that in a word file and so on right so this is a little bit limited for the file we could have something like now export it does export Okay. and we have the two folder and the two file name in the implementation so we can have like you know json exporter in that case the parameter and oh no, sorry the property of that json exporter will be a two folder and two file name so that we can save this data as a database as well so let's suppose in a mysql database we have just the export and this parameter nothing else okay and the real data like you know two folder and two file name will be in the implementation class right so in case of database it will be like your credential login credential and there will be some connection string and then you can use that to export that data as well so you understand that the flexibility and you can just send this code and then if they need new implementation new file type then they can just build that and then create that implementation so that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to ask and have a good day